Today I'm gonna show you guys how I made this super simple 3D isometric bedroom. Let's go. All right, so here I am in Blender version 3.1.2. Also, my screencast keys are down here in the bottom right, so you can see exactly what I'm typing. So let's go ahead and get the Vault Cube, press X and delete. And then I'm gonna do Shift A, Mesh, Plane, S to scale, press number four. And now we have it eight by eight. And then I'm gonna tab into edit mode. I'm gonna switch to the edge select right here. Then I'm gonna select basically these two and then just E extrude and Z. And I'll press five so that it's about the height of a room. And you can obviously adjust that. And then what you wanna do now is press the A key to select everything. And do Alt E or Option E, extrude faces along normals. And now you can see we have it extruding and you can shoot it however uh, width you want but uh once you get to the point you notice it's a little uneven so all i do is press s and now you can see it's nice and even i'll keep it thin like this and i'll tab out and then make sure you guys go up here and save your file so i'll just save it real quick and here we go so now what i want to do is let's create the bed first so i'm just gonna do shift a again and i'll add a cube and we can do gz1 so it moves up right there and we can just scale or you can just literally just click here and then just tap the face mode do GZ just like that too scaling it too is the same it doesn't really matter but uh basically now I want to make this the like bed frame so I'm gonna do like GZ a little bit less like maybe like right here and then let's scale this on the Y axis maybe right here and then GY and you don't have to have it perfectly touching but you know it's close, but it doesn't really matter because we're gonna be um, taking the camera from this angle. So you literally can't see. And then scale X, and I'll probably do like, let's see. I'll press number one is this view. And I wanna see if this is even, it looks about even. So something like this. And then I'll just tap into edit mode. I'm gonna do Control R, Command R. We're gonna add a loop cut. And this is going to be essentially like the little headrest. So I'll put one like right here and then click and then after you switch to face select click here, here e and uh let's see maybe you can put it like yeah i can do like maybe like right here and then we'll just tap out and then we can do shift click uh right click right here onto the bed shift a mesh cube again and then let's see gz and this time we can just manually move it up and here I'll just show another way to scale. We can just scale, so press S, Z, scale like this. And then technically I could have just, um, before I created that, I could have just duplicated that twice too, but let's just go here and then G, Z right here and make sure like I'm right on top. And let's do seven to the top view, G, X. I'll center a little bit, scale on the X first. So let's go like right, Actually, let's go like right here because I want to have like the edge out. We'll go back to seven, scale Y, and then we'll have it like like this. And then we can go to the side and do G, Y, and have it like touching it a little bit, like right there. And then if you wanted to, we can bevel this actually. So we can do Command B. Actually, we gotta go to edit mode first. So let me escape, tab edit mode, Control B or Command B. And then you just move a little bit and then you can scroll on your mouse wheel and then I have a little bevel like that And if you don't see that then you can also it'll show when you um, do it uh, and you click off too But uh, here let's right click shade smooth and then go to the wrench tool the modifiers Let's add an edge splits and then also we can do a subdivision surface And then that changes it makes that little shading look a little bit better and now I want to, let's see if we can add a bell on this one too. So let me tab edit mode, control B, and I actually had to press um, escape A first, command B, and let's see, like here, and it looks like it's adding a bevel on that side too, but uh, for design sake, you can't really tell, so it's not a big deal for right now. And I will save it here. Okay, so now what I want to do is show you how, actually let's create the pillars first. So. Let's do Shift D G Z. Scale it like really tiny, like right here. And we could technically scale this on the Y like this, and then scale on the X like this. And then G X. 
let's go to seven so easier gy like right here and then we can go to the modifiers and we can add a mirror so we see the mirror right here click onto the bed and boom there we go we got pillows and then now let's save control status or command s and then i'll show you how to add the uh, blanket now so let's do shift a add a plane gz go like this and then go to seven we can scale on the x maybe like like here let's do gx move it a little bit over scale x a little bit more and scale y like this and gy down scale y again like that let's just go a little more okay so now we can go and let's tab first and make sure we have everything selected and extrude it there we go then I select a right click subdivide let's do like 50 and then let's and then let's go here to the cloth and basically let's see if it goes down i forgot we have to add the physics in object mode so command z if you add an edit and then we add the cloth and now you can see it falls right through so if that's the case if you have it where it's frozen it's because you did it when it's edit mode so make sure you get out into object mode and then we need to add a physics to our bed so i add a collision here and watch what happens when i add it like this first of all nothing happens second of all did i unsubdivide oh i gotta reset device go back to edit mode subdivide again accidentally unsubdivided by doing um command c but if you didn't do it you're fine so now it's gonna lag a little bit but that's okay and i can see your blanket is going look at that look at that but see how it's sliding off so i need to go back click on the bed go here to friction put like 60 and then when i play it now boom look at that so now it's still going through so we can add it on here too so we can add collision add like 60 here also on this one collision here and then friction doesn't really matter because it's really just topping on top and then basically this is what we got so far and then you can pause it at any spot that you like so i'm gonna keep it like maybe like frame like 22 again it depends on your frame but uh right click this now on the blanket on object mode shade is smooth and then it's kind of a little so you can still kind of see some details but again if you wanted to get rid of those Obviously, you can continue playing it. It can change up a little bit too, but uh, you would have to subdivide even more to get like fully get rid of everything. But uh, let's keep it. Let's see. Maybe like this. These seven. Let me see how this angle looks. And yeah, I don't like it too much. I'm gonna go back to like 22, and then I'll just color this in anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But here we got this, and then if you want it to uh, be like this forever, you just go to your modifier tab and then apply it. And now look at this we have a permanent thing so now we save it and then we got the bed down and now let's create the uh little cabinet so let's do shift right click right here on um right over here on this center area and then go at a cube gz1 we can scale this up down a little bit and then gz until it's touching like the floor and then gy like eh, like right here and for this, not too uh, complicated. Again, there's different ways to do this, but basically, let's do tab in edit mode, Control R, Command R, add a loop cut here, escape, click on the face select, click here and here, and then basically, once my little mouse thing goes away, you can press I to inset both, but you want to double I so you inset both of them individually, then boom, and then you can press extrude. And have it like sticking out like that and it might be a little too much so gy like here let's do like right there and boom and then we can do right click shift right click right here shift a let's add another cube scale it down and then i'm actually gonna tap into edit mode scale down a little bit more scale it on the x scale it on the z and then scale it on the y and then we're gonna tap in edit mode Control R, Command R. Uh, scroll on your mouse wheel to get two. Press S, then X to move it over like here. And then you can select your face select, click here and here, and extrude it like this. And now we have forward slash again. And we made a little handle. So now we uh, select all by pressing S. Tab out back to object mode, G, Y, like here. And we can scale it up a little bit. And then G, Y, like that. And technically, if you want to, you could go here at a mirror modifier. So we'll go like right here. And let's click onto our thing. 
and put this on a Z. Take off the X, so now you have it like this. Also, we can click here and then click here and then Control P, keep transform. And then also we could do Command J or Control J to join them. But the problem is now the bottom one disappears. So I'll just do Command Z to get that one out because basically now if I were to click on the cube with everything selected and add a mirror modifier and I add it, click it on this uh, wall right here. Now you can see it's added like that. So the only issue with the uh, mirror modifier on the handles is that if you were to join it, it would technically disappear. So I'll do Command J. Actually, no. Click on it, then the uh, the uh, cabinet. Control J, Command J. Click it here. And then technically, at least, let's Command Z actually out of that. Let's get rid of the mirror modifier first. Shift D, G, Z. Move it down to, you know, center part. Then shift click both and then the cabinet. Control J or Command J. And then now if we click here and we click on the mirror on this wall, now we have it just like that mirrored back to back. So we don't have to sit there and duplicate it. So I'll just save it right here. And then we can go ahead and start creating this little design I added on the back. So let me show you guys how I did that. So now let's go ahead and click on this wall right here, essentially the whole room. Uh, let's rename all this stuff. So let's call this like the, the room. Uh, let's call this the drawers and let's see if this would be the blanket okay and then let's see this is like the bed frame and i think i have the pillows are right here call this one pillows and i think this yeah this is like the mattress let's call this a mattress and let's save it really quick all right so now there's multiple ways you could do this and there's one way where it does definitely make the mesh not as clean but i guess i can show you that way just in case you were trying to make something similar so we forward slash into here and then we tab into edit mode and if you only wanted to if you do like shift z to get in the wireframe and you only wanted to edit this section you can just basically either you can select all of these and then just press h and hide it and also if it doesn't get everything high like this so now anything you do to this pretty much will only affect this. The only problem is how it's like a little slanted. It might mess it up, but like I'm going to show you, if you can do like command Z, uh, command R, try to loop cut or control R. And then basically let me get my mouse real quick. And pretty much if you wanted to add loop cuts, so like we scroll like this, we can add two and then we can pretty much click and then scale on the X. And I mean, we can do it like this. Now we forward slash back out, we can kind of see where the bed is. So if I want to do, let's see, GX, like maybe, let's press one to see exactly where it's at. And then we'll just scale it out a little bit on the X, maybe like right here. And then pretty much it looks like that. Now the only issues you have is now, you can see that it doesn't loop cut on this side. So if you only wanted to make a little design, which is like right here, you could also, you could do like a, uh, you could literally just create, if I do Alt H or Option H, unhide everything, and then forward slash back. See how, see how it only affected this section? So if I wanted to go like right here and do like an inset, it only affects here. Now that can get complicated depending on your project, but since this is like a basic room, it's not really too big of a deal. But the other way you could also like add a plane and then, you know, like extrude it into the wall that way too whichever is easy but this way at least i'm just showing you guys that you can also uh like add loop cuts to just a specific part of your uh, mesh so technically if you wanted to we can go here and let me see let's add another loop cut let's go back and let's tap back at edit mode forward slash uh shift z like the wireframe wait i'm not in mode select all this again and these right here hide them I have another loop cut just right in the middle and I'll bring it like maybe like right here and it looks like I can have like maybe another one down here because you won't be able to see the bottom row and then I'll force slash back in shift Z and then tap back that in mode face select here and then we can extrude inwards like this and then if I go from the side see like shift Z like this and now you can see we have it looking like this. Now again, this could be a little design. 
Now to make things easier, I'm just gonna make a. Um, let's just do. We could technically loop cut this and stuff, but let's just just do shift right click, shift A, add a uh, plane, rotate X 90, and let's tab into edit mode, extrude out a little bit, scale it. Oh no, tab pick out, then scale it down, and. Right now, if we should see, you can see like this. I'm going to GZ up like right here. GX over here. And in terms of design, again, this is just upper FGZ, like maybe like right there. And GX right here. And technically, I want to add a color to this. Let's go to like the rendered view. Add a color because uh, it's like hard to see. So let's make it like this right now. Now, don't worry about this color right now because we're going to. Um, we're going to adjust it. Let's just say this really quick. So now the way I'm going to essentially make like a design is we can go here to the modifiers tab and we'll add an array modifier. And kind of going along the X. So let's do like uh, one point. Let's do 1.02. And let me see that's enough. Now you can always again uh, tweak this up. It's not a big deal. But for now, let's just do this and let's go one, two, and three. Notice now how like it's it's too big. So the easy solution is to be S scale and then X. And maybe let's go press one, make sure I'm perfect on the front view. So S again, then X, like right about there. And then we can just do Shift D G Z. And I can just move it down, maybe like right. Let's do like right here. And let's see how that looks. We can do GZ a little bit higher, maybe. And it looks pretty good. Well, now, I mean, you can continue. We can do Shift D, GZ again. And then go like that. Let's do GZ. And it looks about decent. Now, I don't know if I want to have it all the way going down. But let's just do one more then. Let's do Shift D, GZ. And let's keep it like right about here. And let's do G, actually no. Control Z, G, Z up like that. All right, so just, it's just like right there. Now obviously you could go and have rated stuff too, but I'm gonna keep it just like this. And now we have this little decoration. Now if we go back to this, you can see it, it's not as, um, how do you say it? It's not as, sticking out so you can always go in here and extrude this stuff and also since these are individual if you wanted to you can also like tab in extrude these out and also change up like the layout so again it's all if i go out of camera view it's all like a design preference so i'm gonna keep it control z out of this make sure i undo this tab back out and then now we can go ahead and create this little front desk right here so i'm gonna go save it first and then do shift and then right click shift a and let's go and let's do a cube and let's do gz1 and then we'll scale this on the y like this scale z scale y again and by the way there and then we'll just move this down press number one and actually let me get back to the solid view shift uh, z gz and until i get to like right here maybe scale this on the X and let's go back to the bed there's a GX over here and this is what currently is looking like so what I want to do is actually add a uh, I think I'll add six loop cuts so let's forward slash into here and technically I could just add the loop cuts on this front face because um, I don't want to do everything so technically I could just click highlight everything except the front face hide this also hide this one pressing h click here Control r and then we'll use the middle mouse button scroll wheel let's do actually yeah let's do it like this two just like that and then command r or Control r boom just like that and then let's select all the faces press i twice and first off we have to uh let's go back to object mode command oh select it all command a 
apply the transforms and then tap back in double I double I there now it, it uh, insets perfectly even so I'll go like this and then we'll just forward slash back out alt H and then I'll press E to extrude only the faces though so let me go back select only these faces not that one let me unclick this one real quick and then E extruded back in it doesn't matter how far you want to go like that shift Z now we have little little desk setup okay super simple basic and then now I'm gonna do shift right click here shift a cube scale it super small uh, G Z like this and this is basically like the TV stand so I'll just like S Z like here G Z go down let me make sure and again you always adjust this stuff not a big deal but let's do S X scale it like this and then technically if you wanted to you could bevel this stuff too so we can do con man B or control B well I got a tab in Edema first control B and go like that and then I'm just gonna do another one where I just do uh, right click first shade smooth this. Let's add the edge split and subdivision surface. And then I'll do, let's just make like easy so we can just shift the GZ, rotate X 90, scale X in, scale Z a little bit lower, GZ up like this. All right, there we go. And then create a little TV action. So let's do shift a cube. Actually, let's just do a plane. Rotate X 90, GZ, shift or SC. Make it as big as TV one, GZ. Go like right here. Tab in edit mode, extrude it like this. Select A by selecting all, G, Y. And let's do like right there maybe. And technically, I could make this um, TV much bigger. So again, in terms of design, if you wanted to, you can click on this face and set here, and then like G Y it out. So it's kind of like almost like a laptop slash TV. Now, if you want to make like a fancy TV, I mean, you obviously could do that too. But let's make this little handle S Y a little bit skinnier. And here again, you can go and perfect all that stuff. It's not a big deal right now. Let's just click here, tab edit mode. Click here, press I, and this is essentially the like the screen. And boom, there we go. Save this, and then now I want to add this uh, these lamps over here. So let's do Shift right click right there. Shift A. This is gonna be a cube. Scale it on the X like this. Scale it on the Y like this. Scale Y a little bit more, and then we're gonna move it with GY like that, and then scale Z, and then scale X like that. Now, if you want to make this a much fancier looking light, definitely feel free. Let's do GY a little bit more, stick it out. And then, if you wanted to bevel this, you could, but I'm gonna keep it like this, and then we're gonna click add modifier or do mirror. And technically, if you wanted to, you could just click on the wall and boom, now you have two little lamps. Shift S or Command S to save. And then over here, we're gonna add some artwork, so just right click, shift right click here. Shift A, add a plane, rotate. I think this is Y by 90, yep. Tab edit mode, extrude like this. And then tab back an object, scale on the Y first. Make a little giant piece, scale on the Z like this okay this is what we got so far and then I'll probably move this down GZ like that slip back to edit mode click on this front face intrude or press I and we see I'm not sure what happened okay press I again make sure okay there and actually we gotta uh, go back to objects command A all transforms then tap back to edit mode intrude now it's even, and then what I want to do is make sure I extrude this back a little bit, just like that. There we go, man. S to save, and then 
if you don't have to go to preferences look for this images import images as planes so now if I were like shift a and then I go down to image now I have this this option images as plain so now if I click on this basically it'll bring up all my files and I can add any image I want so I'll just add an image really quick so I click here and add it all right so I just added this image so now if I go into the um, viewport view and then I go tab edit select a hold on tab edit extrude it out there we go and then tab back into object I can scale this on the X no the Y my bad scale on the Y actually let's scale it first normally as much as we can let's press 3 you can see it more and let me see scale it on the Y like let's see like maybe like this scale the Z like that GZ down shift Z to get a wireframe see better GZ again scale Z a little bit and again it's just preference let's do Y make it like that and then I'll scale it a little bit more on the Z and then scale on the Y and I'll tap back into uh, normal view I think I've extruded this way too much so G X into the frame that looks much better okay and for the most part once we add coloring stuff we can add and check it out but now if we go back to object now press zero on our keyboard we see that we have the camera so if you do shift and a little little asterisk symbol next to the one or a little like curvy thing it's usually next to the one on your keyboard you can move the camera like this but the issue is that um this camera is not the one we want so we click on the camera click here go to uh, orthographic and then you can just manually just move them like this and then we can shift the Y by make it like a center right there and then now I'll say this now we can have some coloring all right so first thing is let's go and let's work on this bottom base we'll add the uh, let's be like little woodish brown so I'll go like right here and make it like a darkish like a darkish brown right now see what the heck this is right here and then we can call this like wood and let's see for the wall that's fine let's add the blanket I'll make this like a black uh, just all black blanket and then for the pillows and stuff I mean default they're still kind of white but let's do this make these also um, this black color right here we should call this like black right now and then for these handles and what you can do is you can tap into edit mode and they can do like um, if you were to just click on these pieces you can actually just change the color of them separately so let's actually do this it's easier if we were to select this whole face same with this one change this coloring to uh let's click here and change this to like uh, actually we already have like this bronze golden color so if you sign like that and then you can click here switch this back to like like that boom now you have new handles because usually it's uh it's annoying to change it if they're like you have like a complicated mesh but we'll keep it like that here i mean we keep this blue and black right there let's go like that here for this desk, we'll make it like a brightish white. So let's call this like white, but I make it a little bit brighter. And then for the, uh, I mean, we can make the pillows orange too. Don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna update because when, when we go to cycles, it's gonna look way different. Here we can also ch uh, change this down to black too. Here and then let's go here. Oh yeah, I forgot to add the actual final cloth, which makes this look way better. Here we can change this to uh, a mission 10. And then I forgot to add a final cloth, so let's say this really quick. And we'll change the bed too, because uh, might as well. Change this to white. And then I think this one's, yeah, this one's white too. And then we're going to shift click on this bed. Alright, now let's add this cloth. So let's shift A. Mesh plane, scale Y like this, scale X like this, press number seven, GX over, tab into edit mode, right click, subdivide, let's put like 40. Okay, 
tab back out, GZ, and then let's do uh, cloth on here. And let's just test it out really quick. Looks like this because if you go to the blanket, we have to actually let's do shift left arrow first, reset it. Go to the blanket, add a collision, but change this to single side. So now this is what we got so far. Okay, so now if I click, click here, shade smooth, click on this world, click on material. Now we got a little nice little little blanket action over here. So now if I press zero, this is what we got going on right now. So technically I can uh Go here, click on modifiers. And if you like the way it looks, apply it, save it. And now you're probably wondering, like, yo, this does not look as good. So we have to click here too. Let's change this to white as well. And then let's switch this to cycles really quick because it looks way better cycles. Now the problem is the lighting isn't as perfect, so we can actually change this one to like um, maybe an area light, GZ. G uh, Y over here, and then we can rotate this. Now I can press seven and rotate it. Um, press double R, and then you can actually like aim it in any direction you want. So I'll go like maybe like here, G X. Let's go over here and then double R, rotate it like probably like over here. And right now R again. Let's see. I'm trying to see which light angle I can go in from here and maybe on the X like that so right through the bed like this and then if we press zero now and I have it also my lights set on a thousand watts if you don't have it there change it and then basically if you want to go to this uh, world little icon changes the background there's like a dark black now it looks like this I right, one thing you might notice is the blanket is like it's not covering the bed in cycles, but on EV, you can't even tell, right? So a uh, solution, you can click into the blanket for slash, tab in edit mode, and I see like, like this area right here. Now if you press O, I already have a second, but if you press O, you got proportional editing open. Then you do G, X, and then just like slide it over. And then now if we tab back out, you can see it's a little bit better now. And again, this is something you can always um, test around with. But also, I think also the lighting could make a big factor too. But if you tab here, and let's see. Let me try to shrink the bed size too, maybe. So I can press S and then X. Shrink it a little bit. Because you can't really see much here, but I tap in again. Let's try to get some more. Let's do Shift Z so we can get everything. And then we'll do GX again for slash. And now it's a little bit better. And again, it's all preference. You want to change it up. And then also you can see here like little parts of it aren't um, perfect, but that's something you can add some lights and stuff to or change it up to. But now if you want to go and render this, you can go here. I have this at 256 now and I put out 512. And then basically just go here, render image. And then once it's done, there you go. So like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one.